Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Rolls coming at you with another PUBG Mobile video and today the brand new 1.1 update has finally arrived. So many changes. I actually made a video on all the new updates and changes a few days ago. So if you haven't checked that video out, make sure you go ahead and do so. There'll be a link down below in the description as well as a card popping up at the top right hand side of the screen. Today we'll be focusing on Metro Royale, the brand new game mode, which is probably the biggest change here with the 1.1 update. And uh, yesterday I was streaming for 11 hours straight. So we waited for the update to come out and we played for a good five to six hours. So I did grind a little bit. I have some footage for you guys in regards to how to win because that will be today's title for the video, how to win in Metro Royale. As you can see here, we are level nine at the left-hand side of the screen and we have 850,000 Metro cash already after day one. That's basically the currency that will be used here in this game mode. And if you guys don't know what the premise of the game is, I wanna go ahead and break it down for you guys. The whole point is to go ahead and you start off with nothing. So I think in the very beginning, I had level one armor or maybe level two and a bison. So you start off with practically nothing. They give you a, you know, some machine gun that's not really that great. And you go ahead and hop into the first map because that is the only one that's unlocked for you. That's frontline confrontation. And from there you go ahead and jump in and you have 30 minutes to go ahead and loot as much stuff as you can and return back to base without dying. If you die, you lose everything that's in your inventory. Now, not everything entirely, so not all your armor and your weapons and everything, it's just everything that you found during that trip as well as a few other things. So you definitely don't wanna die because that's just a waste of time and everything that you had in progression in regards to that trip, you lose it all if you die. So you have 30 minutes to go ahead and loot up stuff. There's certain items that are worth much more than other items, so that will also be discussed here in today's video and you have 30 minutes and then from there you return back to one of the green zones and that is where you head back to base moving forward after that it will give you a breakdown of what it is that you looted how much cash it's worth and you go ahead and go back to the black market and sell it so i'm gonna go and show you guys my loadout real quick and we have an arm as well as a scar l and the brand new rifle to car rifle so i purchased that one that rifle in particular it uses a certain type of ammo so that'll be uh, kind of interesting. It was pretty fun to use, but I don't think that it's gonna be that effective in regards to trying to take down enemies. End of the day though, it's still a fun gun to use. And you know, if you guys wanna mess around, you can go ahead and purchase the Takara rifle and go ahead and shoot some enemies. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some gameplay in regards to the Takara rifle right now on screen that I got from the stream yesterday. And with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about how to win in Metro Royale. So I've been getting a lot of questions here on stream. And the questions were, how does Metro Royale end? Or how do you win at the end? And the truth is, is that it doesn't end, but there is a way to win the game mode. There is a way to, you know, take advantage of everything that you have going on. And from start to finish, whenever you're playing in the game, to go ahead and get the best loot possible. The end game for Metro Royale at the end of the day is to just have as much currency as possible and have the best loadout with you and your squad. And that is dominating just every single person that you see. And the only way to do that is by grinding out the game and going in to loot as much stuff as you can, coming back with the most valuable items and selling them to go ahead and purchase these weapons. So right now I have 850K and there's so many things to buy guys. There's there's a mystery shop that can go ahead and refresh. I believe that's every 12 hours or every 24 hours. And then there's these weapons that you know that have certain levels of from repaired intact improved and the best obviously being refined there's even these crates here let me go and show you guys if you scroll down all the way at the bottom there's these mythic crates that are practically a hundred percent you will get a level six armor right and so my idea is you want to go ahead and grind this with a certain squad and help each other out right if someone has you know two hundred thousand metro cash and you guys all have 50 you know more than likely the best idea is for them to split it up so that way you guys are all well-rounded as a squad and have the the good gear instead of just one person being good because if they get knocked out that's it that's you know that is all the armor and all the loot from your guys' squad gone so it's better to have everything separated throughout the squad whoever you play with with your friends and go ahead and help each other out that's going to be one of the most important tips here in the game after playing metro royale for a few hours you guys will realize that your backpack will be getting full pretty often more than likely it should be getting full every single game right because you want to have the most amount of loot when you go on those trips not many people know this but every single trip that you guys go through and you guys clean up your inventory afterwards you guys are going to want to fill up your lockbox during every single trip if you guys are not aware what your lockbox is you guys are going to go to your loadout at the bottom right hand side go to your backpack and from there your lockbox is that zero out of 40 slots right in the middle of the screen 
this is a lockbox description. It's although it's on the small side, this will protect your items even if you lose a battle. So think carefully about how to make best use of its space. After every single trip, this lockbox will be emptied out as long as you take out everything and put it into your inventory here at base. So with that being said, you're going to want to use that every single time. You know, 530 for your level 4 backpack, but you're going to want to use that extra 40. And with the total being 570 for your total loot if you have a level 4 backpack. The most important thing right off the bat is to have the highest level of backpack that you can have. So that should be your priority because every single trip, that's going to be what's most useful is having as much inventory available as possible for your loot. So what I did right off the bat is I purchased a level three backpack with the first money that I was able to receive. And with that, I was able to go ahead and benefit more moving forward after each trip. Another thing that's going to be important is once your backpack is full, you're going to want to reorganize which items are valuable and which are not. Just because your backpack is full doesn't mean that you're going to go ahead and stop looting. There's tons of other places on the map that you can go ahead and check out and tons of those boxes throughout the map where you can go ahead and loot. Those boxes are randomized. I found a can, which is worth practically nothing. And then I found an arm with five arm bullets, and that was worth the most that i have out of all my inventory so you're going to definitely want to loot every single box that you guys find they're scattered around the map mainly inside of compounds as well as underground tunnels you guys definitely want to take care of those but sometimes you'll find them out in the forest as well in the middle of nowhere so you definitely want to go ahead and reorganize your backpack once it's full and keep looting until that timer at the top right hand side runs out unless you are pretty loaded out and you know that almost everything in your backpack is pretty valuable and it's going to be rare to find something else that's worth more than your lowest item is worth then you definitely just want to head out and save up your time so that way you can go ahead and hop into the next game earlier so what i do is i go ahead and scroll down all the way at the bottom of my backpack and take out the items that are least worthy and then from there i replace them with things that are more expensive because in total your worthiness of your loot is going to increase and if you guys don't know how to distinguish between what is worth more and what is worth less, in each item, there is a certain number there with the Metro Cash logo. That is what the item is worth. So there's some that are worth 1,800. There's some that are worth even 13,000. And so from there, you want to go ahead and organize which ones are the most expensive. So you can go ahead and come back with more loot or quote unquote Metro Cash. After each game as well, you're going to go ahead and want to click over here on the missions, which is at the top right hand side of the screen. If you guys didn't notice, there is that mission screen. And if you click on that, there are these missions that you can go ahead and finish. With doing this, you will go ahead and increase your level, which is very important because you want to get to level eight as fast as possible. For me, it took around five hours. For other people, it might take more or it might take less. With level eight, you go ahead and you open up the old blockade zone which is the advanced mode or the assault mode whichever one but this is the best map for the best loot and you want to go ahead and get there as soon as possible quickly before we head into the last tip for today's vid if you guys can do me a huge favor and smash the like button for the youtube algorithm i'd very much appreciate it also drop a comment down below and let me know if you guys want to see some more metro royale tips and tricks and metro royale content because i have tons of footage and if you guys are new here subscribe to the channel for some daily mobile gaming content with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into our last tip, and that's going to be to go to your loadout, and once you go ahead and return from the trips that you guys do, make sure to only take one gun with you. Now, I know many people are saying, hey, what if I run out of ammo? Okay, first of all, you got to be safe, and you got to make sure that you have enough ammo. This is all I bring with me in my trips, is literally barely any health, barely any ammo, because I know that I'm going to go ahead and find some good guns, such as like the scar that I found, as well as the arm. If I had, let's say that I brought the scar with me whenever the arm was there, I would have had to make a decision and drop one. You can go ahead and also place them in your backpack if you'd like, but they take up way too much space and it's not worth the time. So after every single trip, make sure to go ahead and take out everything from your backpack, sell everything that is, you know, for the black market so you can go ahead and get as much currency and with that you're going to go ahead and also take out your secondary weapon that you found either from a player or from one of those bandits that are out there and protecting the loot me personally i rock the m4 i believe i found this m4 from one of the bandits out there so and it's pretty well equipped other than that i just need a stock but again, make sure to only bring one weapon with you to the battlefield to get the biggest bang for your buck in your trips. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to go ahead and again, 
smash the like button would very much appreciate it i'm gonna go ahead and make another video in regards to the vaults that are in game there's tons of vaults throughout the maps and many people are not aware of how to open them or what to do with them and what's inside so i'm gonna go ahead and upload that as well hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace